how scientific uh, Islam could be. I was rather surprised, you know, uh, in Western countries we know very little about uh, Islamic religious teachings. The Quran is not very much read and the Hadith are not read. I think that um, the Muslim world uh, does not shine its light as much as some of the other religions do uh, in the West. But I was very surprised uh, to learn quite recently of the scientific statements which are to be found in Quran and Hadith. I was very surprised uh, to find uh, that there are these statements about psychical research matters uh, which Dr. Yahya uh, has um, quoted. I was also very surprised to hear um, other Western scientists uh, quote uh, statements in the Quran about embryology and about geology and various other uh, medical matters. The stages of embryonic and fetal development mentioned in the Quran should be used when teaching Muslim students because they are in accordance with our modern understanding of the development before birth. It will also enable Muslim doctors and nurses to explain human development to their patients using Quranic references. Some of those facts uh, not having been discovered until the years of the present century, as the Quran and Hadith uh, are some 1400 years old, that surprised me uh, very much and made me wonder uh, what the source could be. Mohammed could not have known these facts about human development in the 7th century because most of them were not discovered until the 20th century. Muslims and others are justified in concluding that these facts could only have been revealed to Muhammad by the one known who knows all about us, not only about how we developed, but how we live and function.